Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here once again. So I'm going to show you guys um, a couple pieces of equipment that I did buy for a lot less than if I went to a dental company. So I'll be showing you guys my portable table. Um, even if you do a search for a portable dentistry table, you will see tons of them for $80, $90, $200, you know, depending on what you want it for. If you want your table to be on wheels, it's a little bit more, but I mean, a portable table is a portable table. What's the big deal? I just wanted one that would support my tray and that could fold up easily. I'm going to show you guys the stool that I use to sit on when I see my patients. Any portable stool that I found was $300, $600 or more, and they were even too large for me. I was looking for a smaller one. Um, what else am I gonna show you? I am going to show you guys a tray. Something as simple as a tray. If you look up trays in a dental company, so no names mentioned, but they're about $25, yet I found one for $5, and it's a tray. It, it does what it needs to, right? So let me show you guys a couple things, okay? So first, here, let me move back a little bit. Move back. So let me show you guys first the table. Oops. As I hit my desk, check this out. Yeah, okay, it's not the most attractive thing ever, but it's gray, it's a normal table. Your instruments is on your tray, on your table. Your patients aren't looking to see what kind of table you have. They're not looking to see how expensive your table was. But what I like about this is it comes apart. So let me show you guys. Um, let's see. Okay, so this one here. Oh, here it is. There we go. So one end comes apart. There we go, folds up like this, done. This is so easy to just throw in the car and then I'm good to go. See that? Piece of cake. And then when I wanna put it back up again, oops, <laughs> I look for the hooks right there. Easy. It took me, all of like half a second and that table was $19 from Amazon I bet they will go on sale in the summertime so watch out I'll leave the link for you guys on the bottom another thing that I purchased from Amazon was my saddle stool so I'll show you that right here check this out right there so oops there we go let me sit on it now for you. So my saddle stool, so it's simple and it's light. If you look up a portable stool, they're $300, $400, but they were a little bit too heavy for me. Not heavy by any means, but this, I don't even know how much it weighs. I knew at the time when I purchased it because I was looking for the lightest stool possible. It's light, easy, and it's on wheels because I did have a stool that I thought would work. Let me show you. This one here, that's the one that I use um, in my office here, but it's not on wheels. So I wanted to just use that one anyway. I think it costs $50 from Ikea, but it's not on wheels. So if I had to move, I would have to pick up the whole stool and move. And being portable, it's still a little bit heavier than my saddle one. My saddle stool was about, I think, $69.99. Yeah, it's not cheap, but it's a good stool. And any other ones were like 300 bucks, so no thank you. Another thing that I saved money on, let me show you. Let me just move out of the way. Oops, sorry guys, I kinda forgot for a second that the camera's right there. Ooh, there we go. Blood pressure monitor, okay? So you're probably thinking, what the heck is that? Let me open it up for you. This one goes on the wrist, okay? Again, I needed something portable, simple, easy. I don't wanna have to take out this huge blood pressure machine, have all these cords, have to untie them. This goes on the wrist. On the inside here, I put it on. I tell the patient to hold it over like this. It takes about a second. I turn it on, they hold it like this, done. In fact, I can show you. Turning it on, let's see what my blood pressure is. 
You can probably hear it turn on, right? They feel it get tight. It's getting tight right now. It's finishing up. I tell them to wait until it completely loosens up. Uh, I don't know. It takes about 30 seconds. I've never really timed it before. It takes about 30 seconds. And sometimes I do check it too soon and then I have to do it again. So I tell them to wait. And I probably shouldn't be talking right now because it's going to alter the blood pressure rating, but you, you will get the idea. Sorry guys, it's still going. La -dee -da. And then when it loosens up, they can actually feel it. And okay, I was talking too much because it says 33 over two, which is not obviously a blood pressure at all. So that probably means like error number two because I was talking. So you know what, you guys? Let's do it again to, sh to actually show you that it does work because it's awesome. I'm not going to talk. Okay, so it worked that time. I wasn't talking. 100 over 78. The pulse is 96, probably because I'm doing a video. Let's see that, you guys. Super easy. I love it. I will leave this um, link at the bottom for you guys as well, just in case you want to check it out. Put that back over here. And I bought this, another Amazon find. How cool. Oops, wrong way. How cool is this? I love the color blue. That's part of my company, like blue and gray. So I wanted to get a blue one. And I use this to kind of show patients if I'm talking about implants, if I'm talking about tartar, because there's actually tartar you guys can see on the inside there. So I like to use this as kind of a show and tell. Patients love it and it looks nice on the counter too. What else? Last but not least, a black tray. So you might be wondering why am I showing you guys a black tray? If you go on dental companies like dental supply companies, a simple tray is literally like $25, okay, $25. Great if that's how much they cost, but I got this from Amazon for about $5, maybe six. I think I ordered three of them. A tray is a tray. You don't need a $25 tray. As long as you're able to wipe it, you have tray covers, you're good to go. What I do is I leave this on my nice table. I take out my covered tray that I have per patient, put it on here, open it up, I unpack everything though, and then I put it on the tray. Okay, so I love these as well, which I did mention in another video, but just in case you guys missed it, you can get like a tray with a lid from a dental supply company for I think about $30. I'm not sure to be honest how much they are. They might even be more, but I just kind of looked at the price and said, no way. I got this from the dollar store for about $3. It has a lid, that's what I need. You don't need an expensive tray with a lid. So I don't open this and use this as my tray. I could actually, because it is easily wipeable, but I like, oops, as I'm dropping things, I like the color black, then green, it just kind of looks weird, right? They did not have black in this, or I would have gotten black, they just had the green because it was around Christmas time for like Christmas cookies probably, but I'm using it for my dental tray. I take the contents out of this, and this is per patient, I put it on here and then I'm done, good to go. Another thing that I got from the dollar store was something to keep organized. Same thing, if you get something like this, sorry for the label, I still have to take it off. As you can see, I tried. If you get something like this from like a dental supply company, they're like $30, it's ridiculous. This was I think $4 from the dollar store. It keeps things organized, keeps things looking good. My daisy chains I got from Amazon. They are autoclavable. Um, I think a pack of 10 for maybe five bucks. I'm not sure. That's cheaper than any other dental supply company. I got these tattoo rings, they call them, from Amazon. I use these to put fluoride and my polisher in. They are disposable, but it's just so much easier to kind of keep it on my hand and then do it um, that way. Um, the, uh, the other things obviously from a dental supply company, but you can get some things from Amazon. So have a look. Some things you can't, such as masks, 
masks and gloves I wouldn't buy from Amazon because you don't really know where they're coming from, I guess you could say. Um, and they do have to be a level three nowadays, remember? So be careful with that. But see how you can save money? Oh, and I did mention in another video, which I almost forgot to show you, my intraoral camera. I paid either $200 or $300 from Amazon. I'm sorry, I can't remember. And um, a dental supply company, no names mentioned. Um, I mean, all of them have intraoral cameras for $2,000, $3,000. If that's how much they're worth, okay, fine. But Amazon, this was two or $300. And if I didn't like it, I can take it back anyway. It's the most amazing camera ever. It does the job. I can see pictures clear. You turn it on, turn it off to capture the image, done. You can save the images to your laptop, save them on a separate folder, whatever it may be. Two or three hundred dollars versus four thousand. Which one are you gonna pick? I mean, come on. Just being honest, I'm just trying to save you guys some money, right? Now, I don't cheap out on everything. You know, I don't like to say I'm cheap, but an intraoral camera is an intraoral camera. Four thousand dollars versus two hundred. I mean, come on, that's a big difference. I'm not saying to buy your sterilizer, for example off of Amazon for 200 bucks because it's not going to be very good. But for things like this, certain things, I think it's perfectly fine Amazon. As I had shown you guys before, even my tooth model, I think was $30. If you go to another dental supply company, they're like $80. Same thing. So I hope that helped you guys. Let me know any questions, please. And I'll see you guys in the next video.